our staff service. And, you know, from our team, I really want to take my hat off to, you know, to Brooke. You've been so amazing, Brooke. You've jumped out of your comfort zone. You kind of did your, your launch party in Wellington and followed up with smashing a, a wedding expo. So I can't wait to hear all about that and we'll feed that back into the team so we can all hear how that went on one of another call. Um, and also to Beck Boats. I'm really excited for you, Beck. I got this message from Beck yesterday morning after her... Um, her boyfriend's 21st she went to it and she had to give a speech and she said you know what I would never have normally have done that before isogenics and now that she's doing these calls and building up that confidence I was really excited to hear that because it's so much more than what you think it is right it's so much more than health and earning some extra money growing expanding so awesome work back I love that um did anyone want to add anything else if I've forgotten anything if you want to just jump in quickly Otherwise, we'll get straight into it. No? Awesome. So, tonight, I was so excited. We have the amazing Anna Richards on our team tonight. Oh, we might need to get rid of some of that background noise. That's better. So, Anna, oh my gosh, Anna has seriously inspired me from the moment I started Isogenics when I saw her up on that stage and thought, Wow, this, this woman who is, you know, a lot younger than me is standing up there. She's holding her own. She's doing the do. She's, you know, has this amazing team. She's growing the business and she has such presence. Um, and I really wanted her to get on this call tonight to be able to share her journey with you um, and be able to inspire you all because I know each time she gets on these calls or she's up on stage or you see her on social media, we can always find something to take away. So I know Anna doesn't really like much about the bios and reading things out, but babe, I need to say this because I don't want to miss anything and there's lots to say. So... Prior to Anna joining Isogenic, she used to be um, a business development manager in a mining services company. Before that, she spent four years in federal politics. So she's always been a corporate girl through and through. And Anna got straight into action once she started Isogenic with three months of saying yes. She had rank advanced to Crystal Executive, two-star Golden Circle. So she decided to then leave her corporate career because she was matching her salary, which is so exciting. And she started Isogenics full time. She worked really, really hard and hit three star golden circle in six months. So she hit six figures residual in six months and then five star golden circle before their first year anniversary. So I know that Anna was doing this on her own because Morgan was on, um, on board at this stage, right? So she was working her butt off. And um, at the 16-month mark, um, 16 month mark, he jumped on board and um, they started doing this together. And by December 2017, they'd rank advanced to six-star Golden Circle. And over the last five years, Anna and Morgan have won seven all-expenses trips with the company, three ice adobes and four top achievers, which is just incredible. She's a star ambassador. She's been one since 2014 and she sat on the field advisory board for over two years. So has such a presence. And just recently at our celebrations in March, Anna and Morgan hit millionaire, which is just incredible. So well done, babe. And, you know, we're so grateful um, that you're on this call and I know that you're so grateful for Isogenics. But I wanted to add before I get you started, Anna, that Anna has no idea what I'm asking her tonight. She purposefully said to me, <laughs> you know what, don't give me any questions. I'm just off the cuff, authentic, which is what I love about you. So, um, Anna, welcome to our call. <laughs> hey, lovers. How are you all? Woo! Thanks for having me. It's, it, my dog's balls just gone under the couch and he's grizzling. So if you hear that, that's my child. Awesome, awesome. So look, I know that everyone wants to know about your journey, Anna, and you know, some may have heard it before, some newbies on the call haven't, but let's just get started with, you know, how you got started with Isogenics. Yeah, okay, amazing. I always try and tie lessons into my story because I so believe in that ethos of nobody cares about your story, they only care about theirs. So listen out for tidbits if you can um, learn the lessons along the way. But I suggested Isogenics five years ago because I was a clean eating fitness fanatic that still didn't really feel well. So as much as I looked 
good. I was happy with how I looked. I wasn't happy with how I felt. So I actually, I was there, I was the weirdo that went looking for a cleanse and ask and ye shall receive. Um, a complete stranger was plonked into my inbox. And this is the first lesson. Um, your vibe really does attract your tribe because I was connected to Peter Kelly by a mutual friend from primary school. She knew her through partying. Um, and she just said, you two have got to meet. And there was nothing in it for Em. Em just did it because she literally just saw us post. And this is verbatim. I always, I won't swear, but... She said, you post the same SHIT on the same day. It will be an injustice to the universe if you two don't meet. Um, Anna, this is Peter. Peter, this is Anna. Like, knock yourselves out. Um, so I always say, like, lesson one there, just always put out who you are, live a beautiful life, and, you know, the rest will happen. So we were like, oh, I really like your vibe. Oh, I really like yours. And because we kind of stalked each other. Um, and then it was like, let's go on a date. And so we caught up and it, isogenics didn't come up. And people never believe me. They're like, but it was Peter. And it's like, no, it didn't come up. We talked about boys, the universe, sex, goals, everything, you know, normal stuff. Um, and then at the end, I was just, I was really interested in, you know, we wanted to catch up again. I was like, oh, this is amazing. And I said, you know, um, when can I see you again? And she said, oh, well, I'm away, you know, like in a couple of days and then I'm back, but then I'm away again. And I'm thinking, what does this girl do to be able to do this? She was so healthy. She was a, a perfect example of, um, of, you know, health in the company. And then this is another key thing. She happened to be going to Brisbane celebration and she was posting about it. And so here I am looking for a cleanse. I'm looking for a better way. I knew that my corporate career was never going to get me to my ultimate goals. And she just kept consistently showing up on social media, rule number three. And she got home and she said, let's catch up for dinner. She got back up for dinner. And, you know, I was like, what do you do? Like, what is this sorcery that I saw online? Um, and she just drew out a compensation plan on a, on a it was a tablecloth at the time because it was a Chinese restaurant. And I was like, that sounds awesome. I don't really get it. And it doesn't really explain what you do, which is, again, key. Um, but she, and I said, so, but what is it? And she said, well, it's world-class nutritional cleansing products. And then I was like, right, shut up and take my money. Um, gave me my credit card, got on a premium, a president's pack that night. And by 6 a.m. the next morning, I had a boxing class at about 7.30. I was like learning my back office. I was teaching myself a compensation plan. I was looking at auto ship. I was on. Um, and no, for no other reason than I, I just invested $600. So I, I kind of was like, okay, now I really want to play ball with this. Um, and I wanted to know, yeah, I wanted to know what's what. So box came, put up oh, Morgan. I was met with the most skeptical human on the planet. Um, I was like my body, my money, my rules. And you know, he respected that. And I followed the system to a T, got outstanding results. And the rest, as they say, is history, which I'm sure we'll get into tonight. But, yeah, I started to share it and I've never, ever, ever stopped. Just did a call before this one. Um, you know, I signed up 10 people in April, so getting them all started and all their packs are arriving. So, yeah, I'll never stop. And that's, that's just what I've done from day one to day year five, whatever that is. So. Yeah, we know that you're always super, super consistent and passionate and comes out in everything that you do. So, you know, when you say that about being authentic and, and your vibe attracts your type um, tribe, then, you know, you certainly are a prime example of that, babe. And, um, you know, you got started, you know, you probably, people probably wouldn't have even thought that you wanted a cleanse um, because you still look fit and fabulous on the outside, but obviously internally you weren't. So there's a key there for everyone. It's not about what you see. You just don't know what's going on inside and what people need in terms of finances as well, stress and what, whatever else is going on in their life. So, um, so how quickly did you start sharing and how did you start sharing? We, so for me, and I think that that's such an amazing question because for me, it was never as much as I always say, you know, yes, that compensation plan was drawn for me on the first night. And I always say, use that as inspiration for yourself if you need it um, in one or two ways, because that happened from day one of when I started to share. And the first person that I shared it was with was Morgan. And there's a funny story behind that and I'll get to it. Um, but from the, there, so from him, even though he got it already, I still reminded him immediately. I was like, I'm going to get paid for this. Like, this is incredible. Like, how does it get any better than this? Like, you want these products and I'm going to get paid. And then 
And then the girls at work were kind of week two, by week two, they were really starting to pay attention because physically I was having results. And with them, I was saying they weren't interested, but I, I didn't stop me. I was still like, hey, I'm going to get paid. And how incredible is that? You know, you can too. And so for me, it was, although it wasn't necessarily immediate, I didn't put a post up. Um, I did actually, but it wasn't intentionally to share. I just like to share things. Um, you know, it was Morgan and why it was Morgan. And this is again, critical in why our products just work. But I, it was day three for me on the products. That was sort of week, I think it was about day seven in terms of from when I first had signed up, we'd had a massive argument. What have you done? You've joined a pyramid scheme, rah, rah, rah. Day three on the product. He goes, I don't want to see the clip. I don't want to see it. I don't like do it. I respect it. I'll, I'll, but don't talk to me about it. Don't put it in my face. So I, it wasn't like I could talk about it. I wasn't allowed to be like, oh, I'm feeling fantastic, even though I was. And by day three, he was like, go on then, can you make me one of your shakes? And I was like, no, you can get your own. Um, and then, and that was how I first shared, actually, because he literally was like, well, I want one. I was like, well, that's fun. You're going to have to get a pack. Um, so that's how I first shared. I didn't want to share. So, I had, so he had to get his own pack. Um, and then... But I said to him, and this is, this is what I said, I said, you know, from where you were, you know, seven days ago, ultimately, from when I first came in the door to today, what is it? What was it? And he said, results don't lie. And he said, I can physically, emotionally, like every way see a difference in you mentally. And he was like, I want what you've got. And so that's why I'm always like, just trust the products, do the products and the rest will follow. But yeah, I was one of the, some couples share and that's so cute, um, but that's not us. <laughs> I can completely relate to what you said because I was that I was Morgs, but for two yeah. months and I was That's so rare. Yeah, and I was the one that picked, 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 and said no chance. We're not, we're not doing it. So, but then again, results don't lie. So I saw Greg transform just like Morgs was seeing you, and then he felt it. So um, it's so important to be sharing that. Um, now, where is it now? Like, obviously, you know, you, life has evolved from when you first shared with Morgan and those first few people. And, you know, you have that warm market and a lot of people on the call now, they've still got their warm market. They're still working in that warm market. You know, what do you do now to connect with people and how do you find them and, and how do you share it? Oh, such a good question. Mm. And I honestly, in a sense, it hasn't changed. I did a call with Warren Lance this morning to like coach his new people as well. And I was like, from day one to, to year five, ultimately it hasn't changed in that we know what to do. You know, we eat the products. So we have, like I'm on a day one of a double today. We eat the products and we share the products. We share our story and we talk about, you know, what's happening for us and how we have energy and all the rest of it. So that doesn't change. But how that looks for me is obviously a little bit different because like you said, it was predominantly my warm market in the beginning. And I, I got to work inviting them to launch parties, sharing my vision. I didn't have a money story in the beginning, but I had a vision. It was like, this is where I'm going, come with me or don't, and, but I'm going to love you anyway. Um, and I, I did have that warm market. But now, obviously, and even back then, how I engage my warm market, how I you know, intrigued my warm market, how I could go to my warm market and they came to me versus today with a cold market. I don't think any market's ever cold, but um, the difference is that, it, the, sorry, the similarity is still social media. And I am, I'm like, get offline. Yes, I'm, I'm always on the phone. So if I'm connecting with a woman, I put them in our prospecting page and we can talk about that, um, the, sort of how I do that. But I am still like, hey, like the, the way that I do it is I love to have a really quick chat. Have you got 10 minutes to jump on the phone? So yes, I always love to say social media isn't everything, but at the end of the day, I'm still enrolling 10 people, five to 10 people a month. It's all social media for me. So, and it was back then and it is still today. And it's that consistency in how I show up. Mm -hmm. And it's a consistency as well in obviously eating the products, feeling amazing. It's not, how, it's not necessarily as well about how you look, but it is how you feel. And when I can walk into any store at any time or any gym or anywhere and someone says, how are you? And I say, phenomenal. And they say, why is that? And I could say, I'm on a cleanse day or what's that? Oh, have you heard of isogenics? Or, um, you know, I'm phenomenal. Why is that? Well, you know, I, it's a Tuesday and I'm in here having a coffee at 12 o'clock. So it's just that to me. And then it's, what do you do? So, um, but I can always say that authentically because I feel incredible. 
Um, but be how it looks back in the day, it was consistency around launch parties, 100%. We launched and birthed Wellness Wednesday with the, with the original OGs with that. Um, consistently bringing people along to, that was a communal launch party. So today we're very big on um, sipping samples or bubbles and business or adaptogens and angel cards, as Peter says, whatever it is for you. 100% that's how I built my business. Um, consistently showing up on social media and consistently being regular with my product taking, of course. Mm, perfect. And what you sort of touched on, you know, expanding on the vision and, and talking about where you were going before you'd even got there. Can you just touch on that a bit? Because I think that's a great yeah. point because there's a lot of people that are new here. They're not earning that much money yet. They're sort of wanting it, but it's not happening. You know, how do you cast that vision? Yeah. Okay. So first of all, you have to, to know what you want. Like you have to know what it is that you do want. And it could be, so we always say, I think Susan Sly was the one who taught me this, but having an inclusive why and having an exclusive why. And so obviously your inclusive why is the one for everybody. It's like, Hey, you guys get on my bus. This is where we're going. This is what I see for us all. You know, for me, it's women empowerment. So it's like, you know, I help women step into their most extraordinary lives, um, bodies and bank accounts, right? Who doesn't want that? So for me, that's kind of when people ask me what I do or someone on a plane quickly says, what do you do? I can say, you know, well, I help women. I am, I don't work with Met Morgan does, but I don't. Like, that's just my thing. Um, I love women empowerment and I'm very clear on that. So I'd say I help women um, around the globe step into their best bodies and bank accounts. And people are like, oh my God, what do you do? Have you heard of isogenics? It's not, I, I don't hide it. Um, but that's kind of the thing that I say. So I know inclusively where I'm going to take you. Mm. People never know at the same time that in five years, I'm, at that stage, I'm not saying I've earned a million dollars. I'm not saying I'm a multiple six figure a year earner, et cetera, et cetera. They just know that that's my vision. The, and this is what I used to do in the back in the day. So when people would say, what do you do? It was like, um, we help young people live extraordinary lives. That was like our team thing. Um, and then obviously, but in exclusively, so that's my thing, exclusive to me, I know what I want. I know where I'm going. And for you on the call, it could just be that, that bill, that credit card paid off or, um, you know, a mortgage repayment covered or your body. It could be a, still a body thing for you. Amazing. Like a health goal, I mean. So you've got to know those two things. I really do believe that and not get stuck in it, not freak yourself out about it, but having, knowing, so when someone does say, you know, what do you do? Or you are consistently showing up with your branding on social media. What do you do? Well, I help people, you know, I help women step into their most extraordinary bodies and bank accounts. Like that's, that's where I'm going. Back in the day, it was, we help young people live extraordinary lives. And young people were like, shut up and take my money. I want to live an extraordinary life. So it was just that vision of, I wasn't there. I mean, and I'd say, look, I work full time. It wasn't for long, but it was like, I'm going. And like I said, what that looked like for me, and I tell this every single day on every single call still, I never don't not share the money. I, I have never, ever shared, like, if isogenics comes out of my mouth to anybody, I'm also talking about the powerful profession that it's attached to. And it doesn't. And I say, hey, it's not my obligation. You guys know this. You've heard it a million times. But are you doing it in conversation? That's the vision. You know, I say, it's not up to me to decide what's going on or not going on for you. It's my obligation to just let you know that you can get paid to, you know, ref to refer these products. When you get amazing results, when people notice, not if, you can share them and get paid. And, you know, you could earn $200 a week, you could earn 2000 but I can show you how, what you do with that is completely up to you. That's the vision. You don't, you don't need to cast it for them. Essentially, they're going to cast it for themselves. But that's when people go, what? It's like, well, what would that do for you? What would your amount be? And I do work with a lot of mums and for them it is $200 a week. So I sit with them and I draw the compensation plan. The products work. It's like the products work. You get, you put them in your body and they're going to work. But for our job, I really believe this is to like get people started on those products, but make damn sure that they know the whole opportunity. And that's the vision. I've done that from day one. We did that as a team when Peter was building and, and I still do this, do that today. So I think the 
fundamentally it's those two things so knowing your exclusive why so like what is it for you why are you going to show up every day when you don't feel very well or you're you know you're sick and tired of um, your husband getting at you about this isn't going to work or um, you know your favorite tv shows on whatever it is why are you going to show up and your head not hit the pillow until you do your three follow-ups and your five new contacts whatever it is why why are you doing that i am so clear more than ever on mine right now and then what's your inclusive one when you're out and about and people say what do you do or what lights you up what's your cocktail line right i was in politics and even when i was in politics before isogenics i blogged and stuff and i used to say in federal politics i go oh, what well, what do you do and i'd say well i'm obviously here but what really excites me is you know writing and traveling the world like i'd still have that cocktail line and you can do that if you work full time, part time, you're a mum. People can say, what do you do? It's like, well, you know, realistically right now I'm a stay at home mum or um, I'm working corporately full time on the mines, whatever it is. But what really lights me up is my, you know, part time part time business that I, I use to help women step into their most extraordinary bank account and bodies, whatever it is for you. So you've got to know that to just be like, this is what lights me up. I love that. I love it. You're so you're so excited about it and you're gonna hear that you've said it so many times that it's so natural and, and at the start it probably wouldn't have felt like that. But it's just about practice and going over and over and failing forward. So do you wanna hundred percent. I think though in the beginning it's always been um, it has always been authentic and that's the biggest thing that I'll say to you. It's always been authentic. So even in the beginning when I you know, I was unsure and it was this big scary profession that I'd had no idea about. Um, you know, we were copying um, haters back then and so on and so forth. It was still authentic to me. I was a young person. I was 25 at the time. I was a young person desperately wanting and, and trying to and achieving helping young people live extraordinary lives. So it, it was like you're scared to say it, but it's still like authentic. It's like, no, that's what I want to do. Like that's, that's the thing that I'm going to do. And so now it is I really help women step into their most extraordinary bodies and bank accounts like I do. So whatever it is for you, as long as it's authentic and that, that you might vibe with what I'm saying, take it. It's not mine. It's, you know, but if that feels good for you, beautiful. If not, that's beautiful too, but you got to go away and work out what feels authentic for you, but making sure that it's that vision. And then it's the same for all of us. As long as you are fulfilling your obligations, just making sure that people know that they can get paid. If they share their story, then that's, you're, you're nailing it. That's it, isn't it? It's one of our solutions. So we can't not talk about it. We've got four solutions. And if you're not talking about the money, then you're, you're obviously not as passionate about isogenics as what you think you are, because you need to go back and learn that and be constantly talking about it. Um, now, you, you touched on your Wellness Wednesdays. You guys set that up all across Australia and globally. So can you just touch on that a little bit too, Anna? Because I know, you know, we um, are starting to get back into doing regular launch parties. The team are and they love it. You know, what's the importance around it and how can they really get this pumping and getting people coming to them every week? Amazing. So I am like launch party's biggest uh, ambassador and I still do them today. So we're just sort of in between states right now. I'm at my mum's house. Oh, I should make her come on. She's just in the kitchen. Um, because we've just we're about to go to Bali. She's like, no. Um, but yeah, we're about to go to Bali tomorrow and everything. So, but when I get to Gold Coast, point is like as soon as I land, I've said to Morgan, I'm like, I'm so excited just to kick back off. I call them Goddess Sunday sessions. But um, and back in the day, Wellness Wednesday, although I think you know they they were huge and there were slides, that was perfect for that era. That's what and you know and we all collaborated um, as a team. It was really when I say one team, I mean literally it, we were the same team. Um, and that worked perfectly then. And the power in that is it's like, you guys will have heard build it and they will come. It started in a lounge room, right? So, and we just basically started it because we wanted to leverage our time and that ethos hasn't changed. So for us back then, it was like, okay, how can we leverage our time? How can we leverage people's stories? How can we, you know, show the, the, um, that it's not just products, that there's so much more to it, that there's that community, that culture, that all the rest of it. And that's how Wellness Wednesday was born. And it is fundamentally how we built our business for three, four years. Like that was in my life until I think about a year ago, like every single week, no matter what I went and I, every single week I was inviting people to come. 
Um, and then what I'm really seeing now and what I'm loving is this shift, which is perfect for the era that we are in right now. Nothing changes if nothing changes, so we had to change. And it is that launch party thing. So for me, like I said, and the biggest thing is finding your brand and, and making it about you. Warren Lance said today, and I actually really loved it, um, he was like, oh, business and bubbles. Hey, Anna. And I was like, oh, I'm taking, I'm, yes, yes, that's what, yes, that's what I do. Um, but I, that was another idea. I thought, oh, when I get to the Gold Coast, I'm going to do that. Um, Morgan's starting off with a man that's, um, what was it, beers, barbecue, and business. So, like, come shoot the shit around the barbecue and talk about isogenics, but in a manly way. Um, and then in a dude way, you know. Um, and then mine, I've got a Sunday session. So I just say, and it's very, like, you know you're coming for isogenics, but I do it in a way that, you know, you're a goddess, come and hang out on a picnic rug in the grass. There's some bubbles, but you can taste all the isogenics products and it's super organic. So the way that I do it, and it's so different to how it worked back at Wellness Wednesday, like there were slides and it was an hour presentation and, and that worked. Mm. But now I'm like, oh, that would like that doesn't feel right for me. Um, and what I love and what you guys all have access to now is like what feels so good for me. And again, take it if you want it. Like, um, but that's that works for me. So I'm like picnic rug, sunshine, champagne, that's just me. And then there's isogenics products. And I how I pitch it and brand it is I say, um, you know, come and learn in a really beautiful, organic way about our products and the business model and what I do. Um, there's going to be some champagne. You can stay for an hour or longer and you can try all the products. And you'll see that as soon as I get there and I start them back up. I'm so excited. Um, but that's how I do it. And so far with those, I've had 90 to 100% conversion just because there's no slides. They come, they sit. And we'll be having a glass of champagne and I'm not even like, okay, girl, so that it, for me and what feels right, someone will just have a bar and this is how it always starts. And they go, so this is amazing. Like, so, so how does it all work? Right. Something like that. Or, um, I say, okay, girls, I'm going to make some shakes, like help yourself. Don't have to have them, but help yourself. And you know, Morgan will bring them out and then it's like, oh wow, the, I love this one. You know, does this come in the pack? And that just, it's this authentic, beautiful way of how to share for me. Um, and I personally don't then sit there and, you know, draw the compensation plan for them. I just talk about that in a really organic way. But for you, like I said, it could be business and bubbles. It could be sip, a sip and sample. I love that word. That's perfect. Like you could be having sip and samples, um, and hand in enrollment forms out. But fundamentally, if you want to grow your business, that is just how I say, I see, and I've done it myself. It works. There's that consistency. And I have to say that it's, I feel like your networks are always watching. They want to know that they can trust you. They want to know that you're still doing this. They want to know that you're serious. And I feel like, you know, I don't know the science behind it, but I just feel like that consistent, you know, once a month or once a fortnight, I don't do them weekly. I, we were here, but I, I'm new there. So I'm going to do them like fortnightly to monthly. Um, that that's going to happen no matter what. I'm going to hold that event. And all throughout the month, I can be talking to women if they're not ready yet and say, hey, well, why don't you come along to my Goddess Sunday session? I run them once a fortnight. Like you could, you're absolutely welcome to come. And then the power in making them consistent is if they don't come or they're like, oh, look, oh gosh, I wish I could come. I can't make it in a fortnight. You're like, that's okay. Because in another fortnight, it's on again. So they can't really get out of it. No, but it's just that consistency of like, you're showing up, you're a serious player. Um, yeah, and it's an amazing way to grow your business. Yeah, and it's really simple and anyone can do that, can't they? Yeah. And building that relationship. So, you know, you're becoming a really good friend. So eventually, you know, if they're not interested, then they might be, you know, interested later on. So I love that, Anna. Um, some good tips there for names as well. I love them all. Um, so... We know that you are an ISA body absolute fitness guru and you're always enrolled in an ISA body challenge. Is it your seventh or eighth? What are we I'm up to? I'm in my seventh. Right. You're I'm, in in, your... I'm in week five at the moment. Fantastic. So Anna is always blogging around this and always using this as leverage um, to build her business. I'd love to hear about it and why you find it so important, Anna. Okay. So I always say if I'm going to 
okay, I'm, I want to say the biggest reason why we have it in our team and it's just caught fire. And obviously our team um, has just, and it, you know, success leaves clues, but um, has just, we had our, we had Claudia. So Claudia is one of ours and she is, was the new ISA body fi- uh, grand prize winner. Um, but the culture in our team, so team supernovas is, 16 week challenges and why we want that we talk about 30 days absolutely but 98 percent of people that get started in our team enroll in their first week in a 16 week challenge they don't all stay but a retention is phenomenal it's so much better than a 30-day mindset and b they're coming in not with a 30-day mindset so it's not a conversation about 30 days and 30 days this and 30 days and yay for 30 days it's cool, month one, but like, where are we going to go month two? What, where, where are you, what products have you got left? Uh, what are your goals for month two? Where are we going to go for month four? What photo shoot are we going to do? Like, how can we get you assimilated more into the culture? Oh, this girl's doing a 16 week at the same time you are. Let's hook you up as accountability partners. There's just magic. You know, I always say there's no, no, um, what, not surprise. What's the word? Like no excuse. No coincidence. No coincidence that the company, A, put so much money into this in terms of like $200 product coupons when you finish one, which I love. Um, And, you know, it's kind of like the main thing at at celebrations, like the grand prize winner, because it works. Like, and we see it on our team. So to to start a woman or a guy or whatever on a 16-week challenge brand new, like I've got a beautiful girl, um, who has just started Emily and she came to me cause she's like, Oh, I love the idea of 16 weeks. Like that's just kind of what the brand is known for now. And I love that. Like, and I, you still get women and I talk about it all the time. A lot of women will have the conversation and say, can I do a 30 days? They don't even know that isogenics is a 30 day program. Now they just think it's a 16 week challenge. And I love that. I'm like, no, you can do 30 days. But, you know, this is not a fad or a diet. This is a lifestyle. And to change your habits, we're going to do that over four months. That's just how it's going to happen. And there's no lock-ins, no commitments. But, you know, to, there's, you know it's your ordering your own way. You just get an online shop. You know, but to have that idea of it's a 16-week mindset, it's going to hold you in so much better steed than a 30-day one. So, yeah, there's just the mindset around it, the retention around it, the team culture. Mm is incredible and i love the way that you always talk on social media and showing how you can you know you can have a really balanced life while you're doing it as well you can you know you've got to be determined and you've got to work hard but you know you're always talking about your chips and champagne so it's showing people they can still have their little bits and pieces here which is perfect so i think leading into that look i'd love you to talk about your social media and you know maybe three tips on how people can start to build their brand around social media Amazing. Tip number one, this is like my hottest topic. So tip number one is consistency. Consistency, consistency, consistency. And people are always like, but I don't know what to post. Like I don't have something to post. And my own team say this all the time. My own newbies, like my guns at the moment. And I tested this on them. And they were like, this is changing my life. So here's the thing. The excuse of, but I work full time or I don't do enough, you know, I don't have stuff to post. I'm giving you permission to go and lead an extraordinary life to post about it. Like go and find some fun stuff to do. So I said to my brand new girl, Kim, so what I do on a Sunday, I'll sit down and generally map out what my week's going to look like. And that's not for social media, but I just like to be planned. So Monday is going to be this Tuesday. I know I've got a lot of meetings. Wednesday, I know I've got a lot of calls. Thursday's, you know, a day with my niece, whatever it looks like. So then I'm going to go, okay, perfect. Monday, I know that I'm probably going to be able to post, like, make sure I'll get Morgan to take a photo of me on Zoom. And then Tuesday, um, you know, it's a cleanse day. So I'm like, right, it's going to be a cleanse day post. Wednesday, um, I'm doing a lot of meetings. So I'm going to make sure that I have a photo with one of my girls. Thursday, I'm at the zoo with my niece. So I'm going to get a photo of that. So it's just, there's that, it's, it's not, oh, I've got to be on social media all the time. No, and I'll talk to that as well, actually, because I'm passionate about that. But um, it's just about being conscious of if you want to build a million dollar business or $200 a week dollar business and you want to have amazing women or men or humans come to you week after week, you know, I've been doing this 10 years, 10 years, Um, five years, 
And even in five years, I enrolled 10 in April and that's not uncommon. I'm saying that because it's just the month it's been, um, you know, that comes from consistency. So you've just got to think about ways. So I sit on a Sunday and I don't, I've never used people who say, Oh, so do you plan out your posts? No. Um, you know, there's a lot of spontaneity. There's some days that I'm not, um, cause we're, like I said, we're in between states, so I'm not perfect mm-hmm. at the moment. But generally speaking, if you can sit on a Sunday and just know, and this is just good for business and life, like plan your week out ahead, fail to plan and you plan on failing. So what's Monday going to look like? What's Tuesday going to look like for your business, for fun, for family, all the rest of it? And then just think about it. Go, okay, perfect. So Monday I can post this, Tuesday, so on and so forth. So that's consistency. So people, I just am like, I will never hear the excuse like I don't have enough to post. Go find some fun stuff to post. Go try a new yoga class or go to the zoo or do something really fun. And the second thing is consistently remind your network within that consistency that you're here to stay. Like you do isogenics, you're proud of being, you're proud of cleansing, you love your shake, you love adaptogens. Um, you've got this amazing culture, your team event, whatever it is, but you have to remind your community and your network over and over and over again that you're here to do this. And I'm even getting stronger about it. I did a post the other day and it was just like, you guys, our, our company is not on trial anymore. Our profession is not on trial anymore. Our products are not on trial anymore. Like I ripped it and it was a photo of me and I was on zoom drawing the compensation plan for someone. So it's just, Reminding them this week, I'm going to talk about my cleansing. You know, I'll talk about, I'll do, I will do a body shot because that for me, I, my body is a business and uh, I always say the products are the business and the business are the products. So it's like that to me. So I put a photo of, you know, um, a rig shot up and I'm like, you know, I love that I can be in the amongst chaos at the moment and still be feeling good. So it's just consistently, you know, photo with your, do a selfie. Girls are always like, what do I post though? I'm like, do a selfie or something or just, you know, a really cool photo from above of your shake, whatever it is. But go back and look at your social media and it's not about making it a shop. So it's not about buy now, sell here, blah, blah, blah. It's about reminding your network that you do this and you're not going away. And this is something that you're, you know, you're, you're here, you live and you breathe and you love. Like that's okay because I would say network marketing is not on trial anymore. And mark my words, in two years, not five, it is not going to be a matter of people saying, oh, what's that anymore? You're going to meet someone and they're going to go, oh, so what network marketing company are you a part of? That's Make right. sure it's your team and this company. That's all I'm saying. Like, I'm just like, that's why I've got my skates on more than ever at the moment. Because I meet people and it's like, oh, amazing. You do isogenics. I do Jutero. I do this company. And I'm like, phenomenal. But it's like, do you want some more energy though? Like, <laughs> like, do you want to feel great? Cause I can help. Like, so it's just, yeah, it's just about cons- so consistency in your posting, in who you are, in your branding. Um, and I'm going to circle back to that in a second. Number two is um, consistently within that consistency of reminding your network that this is what you do and you're proud of it in a beautiful, authentic way to you. And number three, what was I going to say, is, is doing the power post. So I always say, you know, do the call to action. Mine was this week and, you know, use it as inspiration. But I just said, look, this company is not on trial anymore. Our products are not on trial anymore. And it wasn't PM me now, but it was just, um, I can't even remember verbatim, but it just was like, you know, I am not going anywhere. This is not going anywhere. I am so passionate more than ever to be an ambassador for all of it. Um, you know, whenever you're ready, if ever you're ready, my door is open. So like, not, I'm not saying once a week, cause you know, you might have been going from posting once a week, you know, don't make that you're then once a week, but ev- like uh, very often you need to be reminding people do a before and after, mm. right? Do a, um, do a 30 day cleanse reset or a 16 week challenge. I'm always doing something like I'm doing a 16 week challenge or a 30 day cleanse or Uh, We've got a prospecting page, Empowered Women. It's like, do you want to join my Empowered Women page? It's just, it's, there's always something going on and my network knows that. So they know at some point and it's very, 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 at least once a week or more, girls will come to me and they're like, what have you got on at the moment? It's like, there's something, a 30 day, a 16 week, an Empowered Women, like there's always something and that's easy. It's not hard. It's just schedule, be consistent, like, right. And then plan your days 
get to work and know the gift that you have at your fingertips. But yeah, consistency, being consistent and then power posting, like really that call to action, like who wants to do a 30 day cleanse with me or um, I'm about to do a 16 week challenge, who's in or whatever. Love it. Love it. Um, and, you know, you are such a, a planned person, even though I know you sort of work around chaos as well, but you can definitely tell that, you know, you have a way of starting your day. And I'm sure that everyone on this call wants to know how you get kick-started, how do you get your mind into gear, and how do you get into action? Amazing. So rituals are life to me. I always say, you know, I said it today, actually, on the way to the gym. It was like um, how you start your day or how you start your Monday, especially, is how a very good indicator of what your week's going to look like. But so for me, I always like, this is like a self-love thing, but my ethos is um, I have to move like I love myself, think like I love myself, speak like I love myself, eat like I love myself and act like I love myself. And that's all for me. I don't, it's got nothing to do with Morgan, my business, nothing. That's all me. So, and that's like, everyone needs that. So for me, it's always, I move my body and it's not about the gym. People go, okay, I have to join the gym. No, that could be Pilates or stretching 10 minutes of stretching on the floor whatever it is but it's always so eat isogenics so i always will have a shake or cleanse day always that's how i start my day and my vitamins and ionics um and then i move like i love myself so i move in some way before i pick up the phone do a zoom do a call not whatever um i'll read something so it could be um i do that money mindset stuff so it could be that it could be the secret it could be a podcast it could be anything like that um, think like I love myself, so gratitudes, anything like that. And then, and I'm saying anything like that because it can change as well, right? Um, and then act like I love myself. So show up for myself before I show up for my business. So you guys only get the overflow. You're not getting anything other like of me other than my overflow. And neither in my business, same thing. Or, you know, so by the time I'm doing the first call, the first Zoom, the first business meeting, which I love, whatever it is, I've shown up for myself before I've shown up for them. So, and that's the coolest thing. Like people go, don't you burn out? Someone said to me the other day, is there a burnout? And I was like, well, not really because how, how I mean, first of all, how could I when I'm in isogenics, you know, health and wellness? And second of all, I never will allow myself to get to that stage because I show up for myself first. Yeah, okay, Miracle Morning keeps coming up for me. I've just bought the book. I haven't read it. Um, but I listened to a podcast the other day. Um, actually, you guys, if you do nothing else from this call, download on your podcast the quote of the day show, Sean Croxton. Just te- it's like five to ten minutes every day. So this can be your like plugging because sometimes who's who has time for forty five minutes podcast these days? Like. 10 minutes is a new 45. I'm sorry. Um, I'll listen to them on the drive across the Gold Coast. What was the quote of the day? Quote of the day by Sean Croxton. It might not vibe for you, but he just takes, he's a genius. I'm like, I wish I thought of this. He like um, talks about, he'll give like a two minute intro and then it's like, that is the quote of the day. And then it's like the world's greats and it's like five minutes from them speaking and it just like pumps me up. And the other day, like we were listening to mum and I yesterday and Will's in the car and it was like just seven minutes on I am enough. Mm-hmm. Oh my God, you guys, oh my God. It's like, I was like all day today talking to all my cleansers, stuff was coming up for them. I'm like, you are enough. <laughs> and they were like PMing me going, you've changed my mind. I'm like, I just listened to a podcast. It was seven minutes. But like if you, like if 10 minutes a day, right? So morning, morning miracle, um, rituals, it's just, yeah, that, that's how I get in the zone, stay in the game, show up fully, play it 100%. It's because I show up for myself first and that starts for me in the, in the beginning, in the morning. And people always go, but I could do it later. No, do it in the morning. How you show up for yourself first is how your whole day is going to go. Yeah, absolutely. And look, I know firsthand, if I don't get up and go to the gym first thing in the morning, everything else starts to get in the way and the mindset changes and you know we're all busy right and we've got kids too some of us so morning rituals and you know if you do any studies around the most successful people in the world they all have a morning ritual so so good at what you do can i say something sorry on that you just said something and i'm like because i i yes like everyone's busy 
except I hate that word. Mm -hmm. So I always say two things, change that to like, I have a full day. Like we all have full days, but a game changing thing for me. And you guys, some of you, if you follow me on Instagram, you would have heard me say this. I want, I'm going to do a live on it. I am keep saying that, but I am. Um, but it's changed my top entire life. So I started to say, and it was, it, it was came from me when I, uh, was packing up the entire our entire life. This is a couple of weeks ago now. And um, I was tired. I'd had a full day. And I went to not go for a run. My second run, I love to go for like break up my day. And I was like, oh, I'm, I'm, I don't have time. That's what I said. So I didn't say I'm busy. I was like, I don't have time. And then I was like, well, no, Anna, do you not have time? Or is that not a priority for you? Mm-hmm. Right? So I changed the question. And that changed. And I was like, oh, my God, of course it's a priority. Health is my number one value. You guys have got to know your values. So health is my number one value. So I was like, I don't have time to pack the damn boxes. They can wait. Like I've got time. My highest priority is my health. So I'm going to go for that run. So guys, in your businesses, in your lives, whenever you go to say, I don't have time to make that call. I don't have time to go to that event. I don't have time to move my body. I don't have time to sit with that new cleanse, whatever it is. Just reframe it and say, well, do I not have time or is it just not a priority for me? And ask it because nine times out of 10, you're going to go, oh my God, of course it's a priority for me. Like wealth, for example, is one of my highest priorities. So it's like my highest is getting on this call because I want to abundantly give to you guys. My highest priority is making sure I do calls, you know, for my new cleanse. Like, so change, like ask yourself that question tonight when you, I know it's eight quarter to nine but you guys if you have not made a couple of new contacts today or followed up or poured love you know three by three by three why not like how is that not a high priority and that's okay I get it because you're like I bet you were gonna say because I don't have time you don't understand your kids my job change it well is it just not a priority for you and I'm telling you right now the fact you've been on this call for 48 minutes on a Monday night it is a priority for you right wealth and freedom and Achieving all your goals is a priority for you. So ask yourself now, okay, I'm going to stop saying I don't have time for my isogenics business and I'm going to make it a priority because, and I'm going to not maybe put the TV on for that extra 10 minutes and I'm just going to send those three follow-ups before I do that. Or I'm going to, you know, go to the gym and walk on the treadmill and do all my follow-ups there. Whatever it is, just change, yeah, reframe it and hopefully that serves you best. Gold. That's been the number one takeaway of the night. Amazing. Well done. <laughs> so good. <laughs> so, um, so when you're feeling like you, you know, you don't have the time and you're not doing the things that you thought that you should be doing for the day, that's the question you need to ask. Um, Anna, you've obviously spoken about your morning rituals. How does the rest of your day look on a typical day? What are your non-negotiables? Non-negotiables for me are always income producing. So I always, 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 always income producing. And at the moment, they're not always first, but I will always hope for you guys, especially as you're growing your business, it's got to be first. Mm. So in terms of, so say I'm not saying first thing in the morning because I get that it's like, hang on, I've got my morning ritual now. I can't do it all. And then I've got to get to work or the kids or whatever. But when you sit down to do that 10 minutes or that one hour or the 45 minutes of, of our, our um work on your isogenics business that first task has got to be income producing so for me that's always i follow up or i make a new contact or i'll put a post up to be like um hey girls you know who wants to jump into my empowered women page etc etc so that's the number one thing but something that's really powerful for me look it works for me because i work full time so i'll i'll give two chunks of advice one for part timers i did do that um and one for full timers I love to chunk my week. So if I have, and I I never, I'm not set in it. I'm very like, I let other people guide me because they're working. But if one to two women are like, I'd love, you know, I want a business, I want to catch up um, and talk shop about isogenics. I'll say, perfect, what day? And they might say Thursday. Thursday then does become my day that I'm in meetings. And it just works. It works for me. So everyone else, and it's just the magic of, you know, um, If I respect my time, other people do. So once one or two people have kind of locked, women have locked in a day, that that just becomes my day. And I do stuff around that. But if I can do 10 back-to-backs in one day, like meetings, phenomenal. Zooms, same thing. So if girls are like, Wednesdays has kind of become, and my team know this, like Wednesdays is Zoom coaching day. Um, Monday is team call. So, and then around that, it's very flexy. So Tonight, I haven't done my follow-ups yet, so I'm sitting tonight. I'm, nothing changes. I'm still in the trenches with you. So 
Tonight I'm sitting and I've got about 50 women. That was my goal. Um, that's a lot, but I have big goals. Um, 50 women to follow up with. So that might take me like an hour, 90 minutes. But that to me, I can't do anything else until I've done that. Then there could be other, you know, tomorrow there's going to be um, calls. Wednesday there's meetings. So it's all, and then we fly to Bali. Um, but it's all very chunked now. So that, that's how I do it. So my days can look different and that's where there's the spontaneity. People are like, aren't you spontaneous? I'm like, it's scheduled. Um, but then when I worked part-time, I have to say, it was just very, very dominant, very dominant income producing. So my sole focus, I used to walk in the door about quarter to six, six o'clock at night. I'd be at work from 7.30 in the morning. I had a very, very stressful, crazy job. When I was at work, I was at work. I was, we didn't have Facebook or anything. Um, so I'd walk in the door, I'd have a shower, right? Self it was all about me first, have a shower, eat my dinner. And then I'd go into my office, like lock the door or I was out. I was at Wellness Wednesday. I was at a meeting. I was like in coffee store. I was wherever I could be um, or I was on the phone, but it was just so heavy income producing. I wasn't in the team pages. I wasn't pouring a lot of love. Like I just am love. So people felt that it was just very focused on who can I help? Who can I serve? Who can, whose products can I get these, like whose body can I get these products into? So it was just very IPA when I was part-time because, you know, you've got to make sure you're leveraging your time. And then on weekends, I'm always like, oh my God, it was like Christmas. Like I had a whole day Saturday and all day Sunday. So it was very, I just was very structured and I did sacrifice in the beginning. I still can now, you know, like tonight it's a Monday. I don't have to be on team calls, but I am because it's like, I, again, like, I just know what this company has done for my life. I know what it's going to do for your lives. It's like get to work. So yeah, my, my weeks can look different, but the non-negotiable is always income producing tonight. I'm going to follow up and mark my words, mark my words, hand on my heart. There'll be 50 women who will receive a follow up text or PM from me tonight. What are you saying? Sorry. This is all women that I've added. Do you guys have a prospecting page? As a team? We've got a cleansing, health, healthy living. Yeah. yeah, healthy living. Okay, so I leverage that massively, you guys. That's how I build at the moment. Like, it's kind of even new to me, um, but I massively leverage that. So we are very active in that. Like, we make sure that um, people, like, Kim, I've got Kim, Ash, myself, we all post, you know, I put a maintenance photo up in there. Kim put a, um, you know, you, um, you're never going to know if you don't put the products in your body. Those kinds of posts are big in our page. Um, I do polls. Okay, so this is, do you guys all use Instagram? So this was something that I did the other day that was very successful. So I, people are lazy, right? People are getting very lazy and sometimes as well, people don't even know how to DM, send a PM, like it's crazy. We think it's second nature because this is how we build. And I had this thought, I was like, oh my God, people are obsessed with polls. I'm going to create a poll and say I've got a cleanse, uh, you know, you'd say a cleanse page or whatever it is. I say an empowered women page because that's what it is, where you can learn about what I do in your own way, which is the truth, in your own time, which is the truth. And I said, you know, um, let me know if you'd like to get added in. And then it was just the poll, yes or not yet. So it wasn't, I, I personally don't lie. I get put off people that are like, yes and yes. It's like, that give them the option, right? Some people are going to go, oh, well, I don't like it, so they'll scroll. Give them the option. So I just said yes or not yet, babe, right? So it's still positive. I had, which isn't huge, I have about 2,000 people, which is high, I know, but like a lot of people watch my stories. Um, and I, if I do a poll that's like, do you want ice cream or chocolate? Like 700 people can reply. This only had 91. So it wasn't huge. I'm saying don't expect huge. Like in terms of... Um, uh, conversion it wasn't ginormous but of those 91 women that said yes oh the 10 that enrolled in april are from that and the 50 that i'm following up with tonight are them it's been incredible so poll was a really it's just like this new thing that i'm loving yeah um and then the second thing so how i'm following up they're in that page you guys right so why if you're not utilizing utilizing your prospecting page why not it's phenomenal people love that they can get put in a page and People are voyeurs. They want to learn about it, but in their own time and in their own way. And then how I follow up. So all my follow-ups tonight, I'd like, I'll 
vibe with them a little bit like hey beautiful how's it going how's your week being hope it's magic blah 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 um, and then I just say um, you know how are you going with the empowered women page is there something that has really spiked your interest so far um, do you have any questions that's it let me know I'm going to follow up with you if I don't hear again in 24 hours so I set that next follow-up appointment um, and that's it super simple super, uh, super short and I'm friends with all of them on Facebook because I took it off Instagram on Facebook to touch points the page is over there. So this is all in PMs. Fantastic. I love that, Anna. Wow, that was like two or three different hints just in that yeah. Fantastic. Um, look, I'm really conscious of time and I want to open it up to the team um, to ask some questions. So is anyone wanting to ask Anna any burning questions? Just unmute yourself and um, go for it. We've got a couple of minutes to go. Come on, guys, don't be scared. Oh, we answered everything. Oh, that no, I just answered it all. <laughs> answered it all. <laughs> you were amazing. <laughs> Anyone? No, okay. Hi, Bill. Was... Sorry, who are you up there? Hi, Sarah. Hi, Sarah. This is this is Anna, this is Sarah that's just gone crystal director. Hey, well done, Sarah. Hey, thank you. Love your vibe. It's amazing. Thank you. You've been amazing tonight. So exciting. To see. Awesome. Um, just wondering, like, so on your um Facebook page, obviously everyone now knows what you do in regards to isogenics. Are you always very open about that? Such a good question, and I know I can rock the such a good. And I actually wanted to go into it tonight, but I was like, "Oh, if it comes up, I will." Yeah. Um, so, two things, and I always preface it by saying, "I am," yeah. and I am, and it's not just I am now because I have the posture. I am now because truly, I meant what I said before when I was saying network marketing isn't on trial anymore. I feel like we're at a stage five years ago. Yes, we didn't put isogenics up, A, because we were just getting a lot of hate, and B, because people didn't get it. So they, they would Google, and that was the whole point of it, right? It was like you don't want someone to Google and, and sign up on someone's front end. You want them to come to you. But I say that now. So in my posts of when I'm quite up front, I'm like, my door is always open. And I just don't think, like, I watch, I've got a, I've got a lot of good friends in doTERRA. Yeah. And I've signed a lot of doTERRA women up. So for me, you watch them and they are doTERRA this, doTERRA. Like if you watch other network marketing companies, I'm speaking at an amazing event coming up on in the Gold Coast um, and it's like the top women in network marketing companies. They all own the pants of their company and what they do. And it's, I just think there's been um, a real shift away from kind of feeling like that lack of, um, oh no, I can't say what it is because they're going to Google it and sign up through someone else. Um, so I have been coaching my team at the moment to not be annoyed. The ethos doesn't change in that you're still not annoying. It doesn't become a shop front. Every post isn't isogenics, isogenics. But, you know, once every fortnight or when I was saying do that power post, being like, you know, yes, it's isogenics. And yes, I'm really proud of that. And hey, like there's all, or, or it's just as simple as, you know, we used to kind of hide the, hide yeah. the, <laughs> um, I get, and some people if I've got a brand brand new view with not a huge network and they're really shy you know yes I'm, I'm going to coach them on it and then I'm going to give them the option I'm going to say this is why we didn't in the past yeah I think that's the past now um but you know you've got to educate in your posts as well and say you know I'm doing a 30 days or um you know my door is always open or, or whatever else so it's a great yeah. question and I know there's still so many leaders that um, I'm probably one of the only ones that's kind of like starting to say this, like, no, be proud of it. And, and yeah, we have turned a corner, but in the same breath, I also, you've got to do what feels right for you. I always say that, take what you like, leave what you don't. If you're still like, oh no, I couldn't do that. Perfect. Don't. Um, and I say, you're going to see me speak a lot more. Like, look at Emily Vavra as well. Isogenics, Isogenics. She's the same thing. If you look at kind of the top women at the moment in the company, we're starting to really stand behind the brand. Because I and, and why we're doing that, I truly believe, is because it's not on trial anymore. People know, like, I always say, look at it like this. If somebody, if someone hurts their teeth, they know to call the doctor. 
If I'm um, sorry, the dentist. If someone's sick, they know they want to go to the doctor. If someone's car breaks down, they know to call the mechanic. You want in your network, anyone around you, if someone wants energy to lose weight, gain their muscle, feel good, look good, look anything, they call you. Like, yeah. You want to be that person. And I believe you become that person by sharing a little bit more these days. And, I, and I, you know, it was that lack mentality before, and rightly so, we had to have it because people didn't get it and they were Googling and it was, but now it's like people know, like if they want it, they're going to come to you, but you're also responsible. This is to all of you. Like I'm coaching everyone like for educating people on that. And the way that I do it, it's not necessarily PM me now or DM me. It's just, Hey, my door's always open or my inbox is always open or Hey, let me know if you want to be one of the 10 women that I'm coaching or there's just beautiful language that you can use that's congruent to you. Yeah. Um, but yeah, Awesome question and one that I'm really passionate about at the moment, but I know it's a bit controversial. Lovely. Thank you. Thanks, Sarah. That was a great question. Um, we'll leave it there, Anna, because I know it's, it's just past nine. I don't want to take up any more of your time. But I know that everyone on this call absolutely loved it. I can tell by all their faces in the comments. And we're so honoured to have you on the call and your honesty and passion and just giving us all those hints and tips of what you do. It's been amazing. So thank you so much. And thank you, that one. you and can I just leave a say back and then I'll let you guys go. Yeah. I just think you guys are so amazing because like your numbers on this call is outstanding. Like I do a lot of calls for a lot of teams and I haven't seen a team with this, like all the teams and I haven't seen numbers like this. So like you guys are phenomenal, like credit to your leadership, your team. Like you guys are obviously on fire and just give yourselves like a, all of you, like a massive pat on the back and round of applause and whatever you're doing, keep doing it because yeah you guys are incredible oh thanks anna we're so yeah we're so honored to have you on the call and all the best in bali what do we need oh we need to do our little finger dance guys no, everyone get up. Oh, oh, i'm gonna leave my little screenshot of everyone get your fingers up and we're gonna do our little dance hold on video. No, no. one second one up high one down low dancing guys Love it. Love it. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thanks, guys. See ya. Bye.